All right, here we go. Now bring it on, come on. Yeah, you're right. Now, are, are you looking to have a, a girlfriend or find the one or just threesomes every night? Oh, uh, you know, definitely. You know, I, I'd love to settle down, you know. I'd love to find the one. But, dude, man, chicks, man, there's so much drama, man. They just take out the way from your focus. So, yes. you know, I don't even want to give that time and energy up to a girl right now. You, you see how focused I am on fighting in my future. That's all I care about, man, is defending my belt and being the best and greatest fighter of all time. That's all I care about. I eat, live, and breathe this. 365 days a year, Adam. I'm 24-7. I'm that type of guy, man. So I'll sacrifice a girl for my world championship and all that stuff. I don't, I don't care about a girl. If I find a, a good girl and a unicorn comes along that fits me perfect, great, man. I would love to, to share my life with her and be faithful to her because that's the type of person I am. But... You know, until then, you know, I'm just going to focus on my money and, and my career. Well, your sister is like a dancer for a basketball team. Don't you have any friends, hot, hot dancer friends? Yeah, she tried to hook me up with some of her friends. She used to be a cheerleader for the Sacramento Kings and the Florida Ice Hockey Panthers. So she's got some hot friends down in L.A., so I got to make a trip out to L.A. I'll come see you. You're in L.A., right? Yes. Oh, perfect. She lives near L.A., so I'm going to come down there, see a couple of her friends, hang out, boom, boom. Come by the studio, say what's up to my boy Adam. I love it. Be fun. I, I love it. I love it. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be honored. Now, Matt, Sarah, what happened with you and him? I mean, there's not really anything that happened with us. He's just trying to pop up, pipe up to the king. The thing is, I mean, he's a one-hit wonder. He's losing a 10-8 battle right now to diabetes, and he wants to come at the UFC welterweight king, Colby Cass Covington. It just makes no sense. He's just looking for headlines. You know, the guy's a joke. He's a little squirt. You know, like he's got a 50-50 record. What is he, 10 and 10 or something like that? Come on, bro. You couldn't hold my jock strap, man. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be real, man. You have a better shot to hit the power ball than talking about me and anything to do with fighting. So, you know, the guy needs to worry about his fight with diabetes, man. He's but, looking but, a little fat. And, but he, he said if there was a street fight, like if there was a street fight, he would be the one to leave and you'd be the one knocked out. Oh, Wow. That real original, man. Did, did he have, did he come out with that? How long did it take him to come up with that fucking cool-ass story? Like, come on, dude. The guy's a joke, man. He he, he was losing to Shoney Carter on the fucking back in the old days. Dude, the guy, what is he, 50? How old is he, man? Like, he's on, he, he, like, he's up there. I mean, he's definitely not in his prime. But uh, what, what happened? He, I, I feel bad for him. What happened? He, he, what, he, like, did those guys set you up? They had Usman come out or something? Or something crazy happened? I don't even know, man. Like, they, he, you know, he's just been trying. The thing about Sarah is he's just looking to get, you know, some sound bites out of me. He's looking, you know, me, for me to reply back to him. And, so his podcast can take off the ground. His podcast sucks. No one cares about it, man. No one wants to listen to that old fart fucking talk, you know? Like, so he's just looking for, you know, clickbait. He's trying to get me engaged. And, dude, he, honestly, I have not, you hear me how I am. I'm not, I'm not hyped up about it. It is what it is, man. I right. got bigger fish to fry and more money to make, so I'm not worried about little bald-headed uh, twerp fucking Matt Sarah. Now, one, one, of my favorite, one, of, one of my favorite one of my favorite stories about you, Colby, is I heard it from Ben Askren. He was coaching his boy against you in college. You were beating up on his 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 student, his his athlete, and then you got into Ben Askren's face, like you want some of this next. But he was the coach. I, I I've never heard of a wrestler ever doing that. Uh, it was crazy. But that, that made me really think that, like, man, this dude, I mean, at that time, he was an Olympian. And you were like, fuck it. I, even though he's not even on the team, I will still wrestle Ben Askren right now. Yeah, because I knew where my level was. It, I, I was on the Olympic. I was good enough to be on the Olympic ladder at that moment. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like he was way ahead of me in the gap of wrestling. You know, I was one of the best wrestlers in the Division One at that time. So, you know, all the D1 champs always go on and be the Olympic guys. So. You know, I, w I didn't care about Ben Askren, man. If he wanted to wrestle, dude, we could have wrestled, man. He wasn't going to fucking intimidate me, dude. No, no, he says if he fought you, it wouldn't be competitive. Honestly, dude, I feel bad for that guy, Adam. The fact that he's still trying to keep this fail of a career going, like, of course he's going to try and try and bite some lip off to the UFC king, you know? I mean, dude, no one cares about him, dude. He's boring. He doesn't sell. Like, he can't, he can't break an egg. Let's be honest. The guy had... A guy in Bell tore him out for 25 minutes. The guy didn't even look like he had a scratch after the fight. I think Course Cobb or something. I mean, dude, the guy's he's not he's not at that level. But he, he look, he was say he's 17 and 0. He beat every, He was a Bellator champion, the one FC champion, the two time national champion. Padded record, 17 and 0, a bunch of uh, snowflakes, a padded record, a bunch of little nerds. You know what I mean? The guy the guy never fought anybody. You know, to be honest.
Well, he had never fought. I mean, he, he he did beat Jay Huron. It was very disputed. Some people thought Jay won. It was it was a close fight. Who the fuck? Who the fuck is Jay Huron? You keep saying this name like people know who he is. Adam, come on, let's be real, dude. No one knows who fuck Jay Huron is. Or she, did you say Jay, Jay was a great Chevron? fighter. He was a great fighter. He was just a little ahead of his time. A uh, great wrestler as well. So all right, so we so we fight Tyrant Woodley. Let's say you beat Tyrant in MSG. I think that's I, I talked to Danny yesterday. He 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 liked the idea of it. You fight Tyron Woodley and MSG, then what do you do? Do you call out Conor McGregor? You have to see, man. Definitely, you know, I got my eye on Conor and GSP, both those two. They both intrigue me. So, you know, I got my eye on them. I, I think that little uh, coked up Leprechaun might have something to say as well. He's talked about getting a third belt at welterweight. So, you know, this is all chatter. You know, let's see if he puts his mouth where his money is. Have so, you ever even been rocked in a fight? Have I ever been rocked? Yeah. Not even close. Never, never rocked in a fight. Never rocked in training. Never, dude. I'm, I'm the most flawless fighter in the game. Least hit. Never do my. I got an iron chin, anyways. So, you know, no one's even came close to fucking rocking me. And what uh, belt are you in jujitsu? I'm a super black belt. They gave me like the super black belt. They, they didn't want to give me a belt because I'm so above the belt. You know, the belt is all a joke. You know, the thing. It's like a Ponzi scheme, man. Just. It's just a money laundering system for people to get money. Oh, it's about respect, you know. But these are also the same people that are going and cheating on their wives, having infidelity in, in the MMA gym, uh, cheating on their taxes, just piece of shit type people. So, you know, those fundamentals of martial arts and the respect, it's all bullshit, man. It's all, it's all a hoax, man. So, but how do you do against, like, the black belts at ATT in jiu-jitsu practice? Oh, I submit every single one of them. I'm the, I'm the best fucking... Uh, Jiu-Jitsu grappler at the gym, hands down, it's not even competitive. No one's even on my level. Dude, they sent me to a FILA Grappling World Championships my first year out of college, and, like, no American won it. And they sent me, I was the only American that won it, won the FILA Grappling against a bunch of black belts. And this is, like, my first year training Jiu-Jitsu. Now I've been at American Top Team for eight years now. I've been training with the best in the world. I'm a completely different level now. So, you know, I'm, if I went to ADC, I would easily win it. It wouldn't even be competitive. Really? Like, I mean, what about, really? what about, what, what about against guys like Gary Tonin or, or like some of those guys? That guy sucks, dude. He got, he got submitted by Shoeface with a flying triangle. I, I, I train with Shoeface every day, Carl DeSapodil Jr. That's one of my main training partners. So, I mean, how would you do it, how would you do it in a grappling match against like Dylan Dennis? Oh, who the fuck's that? I don't even know who that is. He's like, he's, he's Conor McGregor's jiu-jitsu coach. He's in Bellator. He's supposedly this like world-renowned under Marcelo Garcia, black belt. Supposed to be a really good guy. Uh, I, I don't follow I don't follow Bellator, and I and I definitely don't follow Conor McGregor's coaches. I could give a fuck less, to be honest. So, do you, you honestly think if you went to uh, Abu Dhabi right now, you'd win the whole thing? It wouldn't even be, it wouldn't even be a question. I wouldn't even have to train with for it. It would be easy as fuck, man. I guarantee it. And then and you could ask most of the people that train with me. Ask Shoeface. Ask him if I would win it, dude. I win that shit easy, dude. Last time. The ADC champ came to American Top Team, Rodolfo Vieira. I broke that dude in like a minute. He got into one scramble. I, I literally was in mount the whole night. He couldn't get me off him. Rodolfo Vieira, look it up. He's so, like, damn, Colby, you're on another level, man. So if I ask Hector Lombard, he'll say the same thing? I never, yeah, I mean, he would probably say the same thing. I would hope he did. We've never really trained together, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People say you got to watch out for him. He'll say the same thing. Definitely Hector will say the same thing. He knows how good my grappling is. No one can stop my grappling. Wow. I love it. I love it. Well, listen. Hey, the, truth is, the thing is, the truth hurts the snowflakes, man. That's why this is their batch 2018. And I'm making the UFC great again, man. Well, listen, you're backing up everything. Now, when do you officially go to the White House? Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure yet. You know, we got to wait. We got to wait and see, you know. Uh, listen, keep it up, Colby. Be careful. Don't let any of these girls put holes in their condoms or anything. To, you know, I don't want you to see you having kids or any, right now. You got to be focused one day, yeah. all right? So be on the lookout. I like that. You know, God bless America. God bless America. Colby, thank you for everything, and keep doing what you're doing. Do it for the truth, baby. America. Absolutely. Yeah. Take care, brother.